Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Phoenix Red Ace Attorney Justice for on the previous episode. We completed episode three of Big Up Turnabout Big Top. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're we out to begin the final episode right now. Farewell, my turnabout, part one of one investigation. If you had today's episode, make sure that like button is boys. Greatly appreciate to the channel. Now the moment you're waiting for, who will be the year's Grand Prix champion? Who will be our hero of heroes? Grand Prix champions. Will it be last year's runner-up, Jammin' Ninja? Or maybe Captain Saipan of All The Way From What? I see the students of a certain starry school are ready to go, and global hero Anya Kapoon doesn't want to go home without a prize. We hope Lady Luck is with all our heroes tonight. And now, the winner of the third annual Hero of Heroes Grand Prix is me. Is me? Whoa, the true hero of the night has appeared to our midst. It looks like this year's Grand Prix goes to the Fantastic Warrior. The Nickel Samurai! Too bad, Jammin Ninja looks like the title eluded you again this year! Eluded again? March 20th, 7.42pm, Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. Viola Hall? Alright, yes, did you hear that, Nick? Did you? The Nickel Samurai, he did it! Yeah, he sure did. <sighs> I'm getting too old for this. I forgot what power- I forgot what I, what voice I gave him. Oh, I'm proud of this guy for doing the series just- Yeah, that was not the right voice. I forgot what voice I gave him. Um, so, the person everyone's cheering for? I guess he got the prize? Yep. You know, we're talking about, right, Pearly, the Nickel Samurai? No. Every Sunday, I only watch the educational channels, Kids Masterpiece Theater. Okay, that's it. From now on, it's the Nickel Samurai. All the kids watch it. Do you like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? Nah, Nick's an old fart, so he's not allowed to watch it anymore. That's right, but I do like Kids Masterpiece Theater. Hey, I didn't know you were so young at heart, Nick. Mr. Nick, you're all grown up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. You're supposed to act your age and have interest that match. It's very important. Aww. Give it a rest, Pearly. Looks like I made the right choice in inviting everyone here. I'm glad you're all having a good time. Ah, uh, it's like a dream. Too bad for the Japanese ninja, though. Last year, he lost to the Pink Princess, Warrior Little Old Tokyo. I thought this might be his year. Yeah. Oh hey, did anyone else think that Jammin' Ninja was a bit different today? Different? What do you mean? Uh, well, he wasn't carrying his bright red guitar. Hey, you're right. Strange he walked around without his signature guitar. Uh, I will never understand these people and their shows. Anyway, Mr. Powers, thank you very much for tonight. Oh, uh, it was nothing. I owe you a one. So it's just my way of saying thanks. Hey Nick, come on, it's time to get going to the lobby. There's a post ceremony stage show that's supposed to start real soon. And then I heard there's going to be a press conference after that. Press conference? Is he going to make a speech about winning this year's prize? Oh uh, well, not exactly. It's only about the Nickel Samurai confessing something. Confessing? Sounds pretty serious. Ah, oh, Nick, come on! You don't want us to be the last ones there, do you? Yeah, Mr. Nick, do you? Why me? The show doesn't even start in another 20 minutes! We can talk and see what's up. Yeah, we can. Thank you very much for inviting us today. Oh, it was nothing, really. Guys like us don't get to come to a place like this often, so I thought I'd invite you all. Hey, Mr. Powers. What have you been up to lately? 
Well, since the Pink Princess successfully wrapped out last month, I've been on the kids' exercise show while wearing a rabbit mask over my face. Oh, I see. I'm still really sorry about all the headaches I caused you that time, Mr. Roy. Uh, well, what's done is done, so let's forget about it. This is Will's power. He's an action star. His popularity exploded when he was a steel samurai. And he was the first case Maya worked on with me. I can't tell by looking at you, but you're really a nice guy with a love of kids. Oh, thanks. I can't believe they're going to make a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. I can't believe it either, but for a different reason. The Steel Samurai, an epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his arch enemy, the evil magistrate in the city of Neo Tokyo. And last year, they started a new series, The Nickel Samurai. A new series to be a hit with the kids too. The Steel Samurai is a show I have a lot of strong feelings for. So I hope that maybe I get a chance to do something in this new one. Yeah, it's too bad. It'd be great to see you on the show. The new actor, Matt Engard, he's super popular right now. Ungar. Mr. Ungard? Looks like Pearls doesn't know who he is. This year is going to be the, going to be the Nickel Samurai vs. the Javan Ninja at the box office. Javan Ninja? Who's that again? So who is the German Ninja again? He's a hero, duh! His symbol is a bright red guitar he always carried. A ninja who always carrying around a bright red guitar? How does that even work? German Ninja. With a scarf around his neck and a guitar in hand, he rises to stardom in an ancient time. A ninja who becomes a star? Yeah! A ninja who becomes a star! There's a strong rivalry between the two of them. Global Studios Nickel Samurai and Worldwide Studios Demon Ninja. They even air at the same time. You know what I heard? I heard those two don't get along at all. The Nickel Samurai's Angard and the ni guy who plays the Demon Ninja, I mean. The Nickel Samurai speaks French? Or you mean Matt Angard, the actor? I guess even the world of heroes isn't a sparkling happy place. Yeah. March 20, Gate Water Hotel. Gate Water Hotel? Am I thinking of some freaking American hotel? I don't know why it feels so, so familiar. Wow, what is with this place? Looks like I've stumbled onto into Oz or something. Way in the back, there's a sign for the bathroom. I bet we have a little time to look around before the show starts. Like what? Examine that teddy bear right there. I can understand flowers in front of a dressing room, but what are the stuffed bears doing here? Could it be that there's an action star who has a soft spot for teddy bears? Nah, it can't be. Whose room is that? There's a piece of paper taped on the door that says Juan Corda's room. Juan Corda. His name just sounds like the star's name. I've heard it before, but I don't know anything about him at all. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says Matt Angard's room. Matt Angard, I heard that name before. Oh yeah, Maya always mammering about him like the obsessed fan she is. And we can go or what? Oh great. I guess we can go. Back. Move. Viola Hall. So long the post ceremony show is about to start. Alright! I'm so pumped! I wonder if he's going to show off his special move today. Nickel Samurai Smelting! Actually, what I'm interested in most is the press conference. That's the wrong voice. You mean the big confession Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? So what is it? Do you, don't you know what it is, Mr. Powers? Oh, uh, well, I'm not the Steel Samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. Bah! Sorry. Oh, so I guess you're all going to press a conference then? Yeah, of course! If that's the case, then here, take these tickets so you can get in. Hey, press conference. And what is that thing we have? 
Thank you very much. Well, let's get going to the lobby. It looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick. Okay, for great justice. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that paper? I don't know I've ever seen before. World record. What's this? Oh, it's that. When do we get that? We need to get no freaking message. Alright. Move. Hotel lobby. March 20, Gatewater Hotel, Hotel Lobby. I don't know why it sounds so familiar. Mm, only a real, a really gaudy hotel would have such a large gaudy lobby to match. Ah, I think they're going to have a post ceremony show over there. They're using a compact what? I see. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm all ready to use my special samurai power. Maya looks like she's ready to start a fight. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai Post Ceremony Stage Show will not be held tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. What? Why? Ow, you didn't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. We are asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. So please stay where you are. This is a special request from the police. Police? Did they just say the police? Do you want me to go check out what's going on? Um, wait, I'll come with you. Freeze! You two, didn't you hear the announcement just now? It's just finished telling you not to move. That voice, I heard that voice somewhere before. Honestly, youth these days can't be bothered to listen to other people when they talk. Just the other day, it was the other- Oh, God. <sighs> I know what it is. There's non-stop chatter. It can't- It can't be. This old bag? Oh, my bro. What is it, you young whippersnappers? I don't know if that's the right one. Don't I know you? Wait, you! You're old powers, aren't you? Yeah, uh, about what happened back then. You didn't get nominated last year either, did you? Oh, that's right. You're doing that children's exercise program trying to play nuts. Oh, yeah, that's me. Thank you, guys. Have a job. I love that show, and you're a hoot. You're the big brother character, right? Yes, you with your face covered up in the mask. I know, but blah, 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 yeah. Um, what are you doing here? Looks like a uniform. And tell me you can't tell I'm a member of security. But that outfit. I know I can noisy brats get the blaster. Let's talk. And the old bag. Miss Old Bag, what are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? Oh, that old place? Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. When they caught the security team, I got the pink slip. What incident? What did you do? I didn't do a thing, you youngin. Oh, you remember that incident a year ago? When this lady got in the witness stand and testified? Yeah. You, weren't you the one who was bullying me, this fragile girl at heart? Uh, I plead the fifth. But you know, I think maybe I rubbed the upper manager the wrong way by testifying. Yeah, that has to be it. Everything in it is all your fault. Me? I thought about being a bodyguard at first, after being handled all party. You, a bodyguard? Oh, you're Fran, that fiery good looking guy with the red jacket and ruffles. Mr. Edgeworth? What? That soft arrangement would... That soft... Ah, wrong voice. That soft arrangement would be entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. What did I ever do to deserve this? What happened? Um, so did something happen? I don't have all the details. But it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. An incident? Like a murder kind of incident? Maybe. You see, I'm a bit of a devilish woman. So wherever I go, I rain or blood will pour, come for now. I bet you don't didn't know that. Um, then you shouldn't you quit being a security guard, at least for other people's sake. Silence, Boomer Snapper! Hey, Nick. What is it? I don't like the devilish smile playing on your lips. Let's make like we're going to the bathroom check things out. 
No way, the police told us not to go anywhere, remember? Huh? How boring! You're such a boring guy, you got no motivation, no spirit. Huh? What? What's going on? Are you giving Mystic Maya trouble again, Mr. Nick? Not you too, Pearls. Please don't stick your little nose into this one. So listen to this, Pearly. This one time a lawyer camp, Nick. Okay, 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 I get it. Let's get to looking. Yay! I knew you can say no to me, Nick. That's right. You walked over miles of hot coals from Mr. Mile, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? That would be every time we work a case together. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go already. You can come along too, Pearly. Goody! I get to come, I get to come. Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot. I mean, I'm not the best family, but come on, come on, come on. Okay, back. Move. Viola Hall. March 20th, Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. There's nothing really out in the ordinary here. Are you looking for something that the old lady was talking about? Doesn't look like it happened here. Well, we better get go look somewhere else. Alright then, let's try. Excuse me. Uh? Are you by chance Miss Maya Faye? Um, yeah, that's me. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. A call? I wonder if it's someone from Kronine Village. What's wrong, Mystic Maya? Oh, nothing. I'll just go on ahead and check it out, okay? Okay. Right this way, Miss Faye. Let's go look somewhere else now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. This is a little exciting and a little scary. You should not be going into this little girl. Uh, what, hallway? I told you. I get people the info they want, which means that I've got a right to know. Nope, don't care who you are, pal. We're still investigating, so you can't go in. What are your problem? Yes, you'll wait. I'll be over in the morning paper. Scruffy detective secret scandal to reveal. You'll see. I'll get you back. Those two sound pretty serious. That southern accent can only mean... Hey, right. Hey, Lana. Come on, don't do a gal a favor and tell this cop I'm just doing my job. I've got right. Oh, no! Uh, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal, help a guy out. Tell her that only the police are allowed here. This is the scene of a murder, so she should leave this to us pros. Uh, murder? Oh, shoot, me and my big mouth. See, I knew it. My gut instinct told me so. I always trust my gut. A murder, it said. And that's what it is, a genuine murder. Hey, wait. Yeehaw, a murder of a big star, no less. Oh man, I'm in trouble now. All right, Gumshoe, what do you know, what do you know? Ah, oh, shoot. Wrong way. I mean, he's spamming the A right too much. So, Detective Gumshoe, a murder? Oh no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up for a second there, pal. Um, Mr. Nick? Is that dead person the Nickel Samurai? Huh? Why do you ask? Well, Mystic Maya was rooting for him, so... It wasn't a Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Actually, a Nickel Samurai is the one under suspicion of doing the bumping off. What? The guy that died was the hero named the Jammin' Ninja, pal. Jammin' Ninja? So the victim was Jammin' Ninja? Damn ninja. It was on a really popular viral TV show to the Nickel Samurai. Oh. The victim was the action star Juan Cordona. He got a huge push and rode the express train to start him. I mean, even I know who he is. Yeah, even I recognize his face. Well, I heard lately that Matt engard has been taking the wind out of the sail. I'm telling you, pal, as far as who's popular, those two are hogging all the limelight. I guess there's no space for Mr. Pines at all, huh? Poor guy. Mr. Angar, um, that's the Nickel Samurai, right? Yep. Well, I mean, no, you've got to say it with more arm, the Nickel Samurai. 
Anyway, so now that one quarter is gone, that means Mr. Ungar has the whole station himself, wouldn't you say? I want a bet on it now. We can't have the pl ha we can't have that happen now. We can't have that happen. What's that supposed to mean? I wonder. Um, that woman with the big puffy hair that looks like cotton candy. You mean Lada? That woman, she was there that time too, right? That time? When Mystic Mind did that channeling. Oh, that time. Well, Lada's a journalist, so that's why she was there. Journalist? It looks like she was hanging around here before the murder happened. Hanging around? Here, I didn't get waiting in front of the Dragon Ninja's door, pal. But why would she... She wouldn't tell me, pal. She just said something about getting my big screw. Scoop. What sort of news could she be after? Hey, was I supposed to show something to Gumshoes? What was it that we were supposed to show? Does it look like it had something? If not, we can move places. Not present. I'm off today. I'm off today. We can't go there. Let me check if there's anything else. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Farewell, my turnabout. Okay. Uh, investigation. Fill up. Hallway. Huh. I guess we can go to... Present the photo. Alright. Let's do that. Profile. Nick Osama, he really took the Grand Prix tonight. Well, I was a big fan of his. Really? Oh, I'm sorry then. Why are you sorry? Matt Unger was just arrested, pal. On the sneeze. On suspicion of murdering one corridor. Anything else? Arrested. Why was Mr. Ungar arrested? Sorry, pal. That's not something I can tell you. We just started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. It's like yet another steel samurai hero is in hot water. Now, uh, Mr. Nick, is, if Mr. Mike knew about this... Yeah, I know. She make me take this case. I know. And with that, we'll answer this episode right here, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that like button comes forward. If you're a new, barely see subscribe button. The struggles exceed me. I'm shutting out.